What's up everyone, I am SystemJet66, I am back. For any returning subscribers, where have I been? Just quickly, um, I moved before Christmas, it was a good Christmas. TV broke though, and my laptop died as well as soon as I moved to the new place. So, laptop's been fixed, um, The I've got a new TV, I'm back on PS4, so I can actually at least make some videos and record something. So we're talking about Resident Evil 4 Remake today, and first, firstly I want to talk about DC Douglas. So apparently DC Douglas has been acting like a bit of a tit recently, uh, an idiot in English that means he's been acting like, he's been acting like an idiot. Um, and he did sort of like leak some stuff to do with a, a Wesker con concept um, art design, and Capcom are pissed, obviously. DC Douglas is a great Wesker, but if you're sabotaging yourself, what can you, you know, what can anyone say really, other than stop it dude, do you know what I mean? Just get your head back in the game and, and get sort of back on track. Um, and stop pissing off the people that, that employ you and pay you. Um, the concept art that he did leak, apparently, from going by what um, Residents of Evil have said, isn't um, concept art for Resident Evil 4 Remake. It's actually for another Resident Evil game, or a scrapped Resident Evil game. So that, that concept image that you've, you've been seeing, that is for a, a, a different, separate Resident Evil game entirely. Uh, maybe the Hunk spin-off, maybe... What was that one called? Uh, Apocalypse, I think. Resident Evil Apocalypse. Yeah, or maybe, you know, Revelations 3. Who knows? But this is, uh, this is about Resident Evil 4 Remake. Capcom are going to announce something tomorrow. I'm hoping that, you know, the announcement is, is a good one. It has some significance um, to do with Resident Evil 4 Remake. And we get some, you know, some... some some great games come in, forthcoming, but I think they've done this before and it's been very disappointing, so who knows. Um, but I'm reading from Eurogamer, and this is the latest on the Resident Evil 4 remake. It's reportedly inspired by original, spookier game pitch. So Capcom's announced but widely expected, sorry, Capcom's unannounced but widely expected Resident Evil 4 remake will have a spookier tone inspired by the company's original ideas for the game. So hopefully we'll get that flying umbrella base, you know, more segments in the castle, etc, etc. Now there is something I don't like about this and we'll get to that eventually. Um, an earlier abandoned take on Resident Evil 4 would have seen hero Leon up against creepy living dolls and spectral figures. So very much like Resident Evil 8, you know, but the dolls trying to attack him and it's all that kind of weird shit going on. Uh, this has inspired Capcom's upcoming remake, a new fanbite report claims. The game's memorable opening, where Leon explores its iconic village location, and this is what I don't like, will now be set at night to evoke its creepier mood. Well, firstly in the original, it is set at night, just not in the beginning of the game. In the beginning it takes place in the day and then it switches to night and it becomes even more creepy and you can see sort of the villagers eyes glowing red and stuff like that. There's significance to setting it, you know, in the daytime and then at night. I like that. So I don't know why they're changing that. It's a bit of a stupid change in my personal opinion. Anyway, it goes on to say Ada's role in the remake will also be expanded inspired by her separate ways campaign. Though it is unclear if this will be integrated or kept separate. Uh, I would think that they integrate it rather than keep it separate. Look, like, ra the tongue tied, rather than keep it separate like the original. Capcom remade Resident Evil 2 in 2019 and followed that up with a new version of Resident Evil 3 in 2020. You know, the remake of 2 was great. The remake of 3 not so great. Um, 8 not so great. Back in November, reports claimed artwork showing Albert Wesker had been leaked by voice actor DC Douglas amidst a wave of reports detailing Douglas's interaction with fans online at, and at conventions where he was alleged to have behaved inappropriately. I haven't really read up about that. I'm going to read up about that at some point, see what he's been getting up to. Um, so at the time, Capcom told Eurogamer it could not comment on rumour or speculation regarding the artwork and had no uh, announcements to make regarding future projects on Douglas's future involvement in upcoming Resident Evil games. Um, maybe they've been backpedalling, and that's what Resident Evil were talking about, but really that is a concept design for Resident Evil 4. I really don't know, it's 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 baffling. Maybe they were gonna bring Wesker back for a new game. Who knows? Uh, apparently the DLC for Resident Evil 8 is supposed to be coming out soon, and uh, there's supposed to be like, like different DLC, like at least two, you know, uh, lots of DLC, so maybe one with Chris, you know, going to the BSAA headquarters and one with Ada infiltrating the, the village. But it's all up in the air and nothing's really been sort of spoken about it. But yeah, Capcom haven't announced anything about those DLC, you know, downloads that are coming other than they're free. 
I think it leans towards Ada being in them, and I think it also leans towards maybe Chris having some sort of um, DLC to himself, just like not a hero. So that's all the news really for now. Um, glad to be back. I'm getting my laptop back tomorrow, so when Capcom drop the news tomorrow, I will cover it and I'll let you guys know. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'm SystemJet66 and I'm signing out of it. Peace.